This week has been packed with drama and news of all kinds, and while it's exciting for us, it's not looking pretty for the idols involved. Well, at least for some of them. From inspirational speeches on global warming, to idols being under fire for saying slurs and offensive comments. Let's get started. I previously talked about how Stacey won't get paid until 2022 despite their success, but unfortunately, they aren't the first or the last to go through this. Certain K-pop companies have a break-even system in which all the money earned by their idols goes towards paying back the money invested in them during their training period. After their debut as idols, they will also have to bear the cost of their outfits, stylists, makeup, recording of their albums, production of videos, etc. This means that many idols don't earn an income until paying off their debt, which takes years. Former Halo member Sung Ho, who recently became popular because of the show Change Days, talked about this in a YouTube video. He said that people think idols make a lot of money, but that only the popular ones get paid. Sung Ho said, only idols that are popular make a lot of money. Those who are not popular are suffering. You can think 90% of the idols make zero money. We have hoped to get recognized every time we release an album. However, every time we release an album, our debt gets bigger. I think the company should come up with a new system because the current one is unbearable. After the disbandment of G-Friend, their fans have been distraught waiting for the members' next move, and we finally have an update. Simbi, Umdi, and Una are the next hit trio in the K-pop world. The girls made it official on October 6th, and they'll debut as a three-member girl group named BDZ under Big Planet Made. The group name supposedly means that they'll always be the artists who proudly express their own colors. They even released their first visual film, which is 46 seconds long. It shows Una, Simbi, and Umji eating every other girly in the industry, with the film going back and forth between a black and white atmosphere and a red background, giving off a mature vibe. The official profile photos also dropped, and it just made me more confused about the concept, but I'm confident to say that this is going to be exciting. NCT has reached new milestones and I don't think I could be any prouder of them. On October 25th, it was revealed that NCT 127's upcoming album, Favorite, which is the repackaged album of their album Sticker, had reportedly exceeded a total of 1 million album pre-orders as of October 24th. With that, this marks the third time NCT 127 earned the million seller title. They first earned the title back in 2020 when they released their second studio album, Neozone. In addition to earning the million seller title for Favorite, this also also marks the highest pre-ordered repackage album among SM entertainment artists. They really keep outselling everyone. Blackpink took a break from being multi-million sellers and the most popular girl group in the world. They delivered a speech about the environment and current climate change. Jenny opened up the speech by saying that the youth are connected through technology and thus have a lot in common. Currently, they are all facing a common problem that is climate change. Tisu also shared her concerns for the planet that is in deep decay. She invited viewers to be more aware of the environmental crisis that is unfolding before our eyes. She said, Since our generation is also the best connected, and because we will be around to see how this story unfolds, we have to be more aware of this environmental crisis. They also shared when they first realized the extent of the issue, like seeing the ice caps melting and the air pollution problem. It's very inspiring of them to use their platform for a good and very important cause. Good job, ladies. Kim sun -ho's scandal has quite a strong grip over the entertainment industry right now, and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. After his apology came out, Kim Sono announced his departure from the entertainment program two days, one night on which he was a fixed cast and dropped out of the movie two o'clock date. And while the entertainment industry is trying to get rid of Kim Sono, his fans are posting a series of petitions against his departure from the show. As of October 20th, there are 45 related petitions alone and about 15,000 people had signed them. Alongside the petitions, thousands of posts asking KBS2 to cancel their decision to remove Kim Sono from two days and one night have also flooded the internet. On one of the petitions against his removal, his fan wrote, South Korea is known to have great dramas and variety shows and are well loved by people all over the world. Unfortunately, it also has a toxic cancel culture. It has been a trend that when there is a rising star, scandals will suddenly break and people ask actors to step down from their roles. This should stop. Let actors be humans. Stop the cancel culture. However, after Kim Sono and his agency saw entertainment officially apologize for the controversy and and the production team had already decided to drop him out of the show, these demands can be considered as blind love from fans. In particular, since Kim Sono already apologized for the allegations related to his private life, hundreds of production staff and fellow actors who trusted him, along with 10 advertisers who signed with him, now have to suffer from the damages done to his reputation. There's a theory going around the internet about his company though, and guys, this is a spicy one. On October 25th, the anonymous netizen who claimed to personally know Sono wrote on his Instagram 
Instagram. From October 2021, Sono's contract with Salt Entertainment is only temporary. Unlike the exclusive contract, this new temporary contract from October holds Kim Sono responsible for breaching advertisement deals. Salt Entertainment should stop manipulating the media. What they mean by manipulating the media is that Salt Entertainment said that they will stand by Sono until the end, but there's no end to his contract since it's only temporary and it can be nullified at any time. It's a mess. Giselle has been in the center of everyone's attention lately, but it's not for a good reason. In a behind the scenes video of Espa's jacket shooting for Savage uploaded on October 23rd, Giselle along with Karina and Ningning Ning, were listening and jamming to SZA's Love Galore. Giselle was the only one who memorized and lip synced the lyrics, but she ended up lip syncing the sentence containing the N word. After fans noticed what happened in the video, the keyword Giselle N word started trending and sparked a huge controversy on social media. In this case, instead of defending Giselle, fans are well aware that she's in the wrong and asked her to recognize her mistake, which she quickly did. What makes no sense to me is why whoever edited the video kept that part in, knowing it would do damage to her and Espa's reputation. I mean, of course, it would have been ideal for Giselle not to have said the word at all, but why did the editor not edit that out? As the leading K-pop entertainment company, the SM team understands the public strictness on these issues and we need to respect them. Every act of the artist in public must be performed with extreme caution. Giselle, on the other hand, got herself into a lot of trouble due to the poor work of the post-production team. SM has made many mistakes in post-production, such as typos, etc., but fans consider them as small mistakes. However, the controversy regarding Giselle is a wake-up call for SM's sloppy way of working in recent years. Fans understandably started demanding an apology from both her and SM. But as is usual for SM, they have only made the video private and deleted the tweet linking to it, but have yet to issue a statement or an apology. Giselle took a different route though and went on Twitter to apologize for her actions. She said, Hello, this is Giselle. I would like to apologize for mouthing the wrongful word from the lyrics of the song that was playing on site. I had no intentions of doing it with any purpose and got carried away when one of my favorite artist songs was playing. I sincerely apologize. I will continue to learn and be more conscious of my actions. The apology, as usual, got mixed reactions. Some didn't see the apology as genuine considering the fact that she is the most fluent English speaker in ESPA and therefore it is safe to assume that she should be well aware of the offensive slur that non-black people shouldn't say under any circumstances. Moreover, when Giselle covered Doja Cat's Tia Tamara with lyrics containing the n-word, she corrected the lyrics to avoid saying it. This proves to them that this mistake could have been completely avoided had she been more careful. But even with all of this, it's admirable that she apologized publicly, especially when she's an SM idol. And well, we all know how SM doesn't let their idols apologize, let alone rookies. If this instance teaches us anything, it's that we shouldn't be so quick to assume things and cancel idols when we could take the time and direct it towards educating them why their actions are wrong. It would be way more productive for us and also them. You don't have to accept Giselle's apology if you don't find it genuine, but we need to give her a space to do better in the future. Giselle is unfortunately not the only one who has been under fire lately for comments. Astro fans and non-fans alike are disappointed about a remark he made. In a clip that's been floating around Twitter lately, Sana is seen rolling a piece of paper and holding it against his hair, saying it looked like reggae hair. Fans have expressed disappointment at his ignorance and have started mass emailing the company to get an official apology from him in an effort to educate him on why what he said was wrong. Though this looks like a lost cause too, because companies rarely issue apologies or statements about controversies like this one. Why can't they all just hold cultural sensitivity training sessions? I think these idols could use some. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about all of these scandals? Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.